hello guys welcome to a new video tutorial and in this new tutorial we are going to configure OSPF and we are and I think that's it yeah we are only going to configure OSPF but we are now using GNS3 as you can see but if you're using package tracer it's going to be it's going to work the same way um, I'm using GNS3 because I'm almost done with my CCNA and I'm going to be moving to either Juniper or my CCMP I don't know yet but for any of them, um, I'm going to have to use GNS3 because some of the stuff that I'm going to be working with Juniper or with my CCMP are not going to be in Packet Tracer. So I downloaded GNS3 and install it. And I also add these um, Cisco routers, Cisco routers images to GNS3 um, so I can get familiar with GNS3. Okay, guys. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to configure OSPF. So let's go ahead and I already start all of my routers. So let me go ahead and go to the console um, for this one. And from here, what I'm going to do is config config t config t right. And first, let me go ahead and plug this in. Pass it the net zero zero, right? Here we go. So that's good. Let's go ahead to the console again. And from here, um, let's go ahead and interface fast it the net zero zero. Let's go ahead and give it an IP address 192.168.10.1. Two five 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 that two five two that two five two or that that zero. That's good. Now shut down. Okay, so I have configured that IP address. There we go. It went up. Now let's go ahead and go to this PC. Um, so let's see. Let's start this and then let's open the console. All right. I'm not really familiar with GNS3, so that might, I might get some errors. So just Give me just a minute. So I think I believe all you have to do is IP from this and just give it an IP address of 192.168.10.2. And I think if you give it a slash 24, that should work. There we go. So we give it this IP address 192.168.10.2. And for this one, button one. We give it an IP address of 192.168.10.1. So let's try to ping to ping 192.168.10.2. Let's see if we are able to ping this PC. And it looks like we're not able to ping this computer for some reason. So let's go ahead and IP. Okay, and if you do IP, um, let's try to ping 192.168.10.1. And it looks like we are able to ping the router, but we're not able to ping the computer for some reason. Let's go ahead and try to ping the computer again. And it looks like we're not able to ping 192. Okay, I know why. And because we put 192, 198. It needs to be 192, 168. That 10.2. Here we go. So we're able to ping the computer. That's great. Great, 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 great. And over here, we're going to have 10.1 10 10 10 slash 24. We can just duplicate and let's set this one to two. Right? Let's go ahead and plug these two switches or these two routers on fast Ethernet zero 01 and zero 01. Let me go ahead and configure from router one. 
interface gigabit uh, faster than that zero one and from here we're going to configure an IP address of 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 .1, 255 255.255.255.252 now shut down there we go now let's go ahead to this router 2 and open this console config t and let's go to interface facet then zero slash one IP address 10.10.10.2 that 252 now shut down let's see if we are able to ping 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 and we are able to ping these two routers are able to ping each other so that's great it means that we have connectivity now let's go ahead and plug in R2 and R3 okay and from here let's go ahead to router 2 and let's go to interface fast Ethernet 0 and this one is going to be 10.1 actually this one and 20.1 now shut down now let's open this console and go ahead to config g interface facet and zero one IP address 10.10.20.2 that two five two two five five that two five two shut down and let's create labels for those so duplicate it's going to be 20.1 duplicate and this one's going to be that two great now from this from router three let's see if we are able to do ping 10.10.20.1 which is the IP address of this router 20.1 hmm, we're not able to do that let's go to router 2 okay so I see what I did wrong let's go ahead to router 3 and this IP address Needs to be, let's say now, this IP address, IP address needs to be on the fast internet zero zero. Now shut down. And now let's try to ping that IP address. Do ping 10.10.20.1. There .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 you go. We're able to ping router 2 from router 3. Great. Now let's go ahead and plug. Um, PC 2 and router 3 and fast Ethernet 0 1. Now let's go ahead and start this. Let's open, open this console and from here do an IP 192.168.20.2 slash 24. Let's go ahead to this router which is router 3 from router 3. Let's do a interface fast Ethernet 01 IP address 192.168.20.1.0. Now shut down. Great. Let's try to ping 192.168.20.2. See if we're able to print that computer. And we are. And that's great. And now what we are going to do is we are going to configure OSPF. And it's going to be OSPF of area zero. Right? First of all, let's go ahead and just duplicate this. Duplicate. Text edit. 192.168.20.0 slash 24. Copy. Let's edit this text. This one's going to be 10. OK, 
okay great now let's go ahead and configure OSPF guys so let's go ahead to router 1 from router 1 let's go ahead and exit let's go to router OSPF OSPF 1 let's add a network 192.168.10.0 255 area of 0 and let's also add network 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 3 area of 0 now let's go ahead to router 2 and do the same let's add um, OSPF so exit router router OSPF 1 network 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 3 area of 0 and let's add 20 area of 0 and let's go to router 3 and configure OSPF as well um, so router OSPF 1 network 10.10.20.0 10 3 that 3 at the end the same area 0 and then let's add network 192.168.20.0.255 area of 0 okay so now we should be able to start getting those OSPF here we go OSPF up and running so we have a network relationship with router 2 so if we do a exit exit show IP OSPF neighbor you can see we have a neighbor relationship um, with router 2 let's see show IP OSPF interface to see who is it I want to see who is the default the designated router and the designated router is 192.168.10.1 so for this one, the designated router is this IP, which is router one. So the router one is the um, the designated router, and the backup designated router is 10, 10, 21, which is router two. So that's great. Let's go ahead to router two and show IP OSPF neighbor, and we have two neighbors over here. We have this one which is router 1 and this one which is router 3 or the opposite this one is router 3 and this one is router 1 so now we should be able to ping from PC2 should be able to ping PC1 ping 192.168.10 10.2 and send by here no gateway found um, did we configure the IP address here let's go ahead and do so IP 192.168.20.2 slash 24 great that's that was configured Let's try to ping uh, one and it, let's ping one and two that one six eight that twenty that one, which is a default gateway, which is router three. Now let's see if we can ping that ten that two. Not gateway found. Let's go ahead to router three. So from router three, and show IP route. Okay, so we have a route to 192.168.10.0. So from here, I should be able to ping 192.168.10.2. So I'm, I'm not able to ping PC1. Let's try to ping 
router one at this IP address and we are able to do it. Let's see what's up with this um, with this computer PC one. So we are able to pin our default gateway. Nice. So we are able to pin 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 .10 .10 Ping 10.10.10.1. No gateway found. So gateway. Okay, so we haven't configured a default gateway. So let's see. IP question mark. Okay, so what we need to do is actually do IP 192.168.10.2 slash 24 and then we have to give it a default gateway which is 192.168.10.1 Okay, and let's do the same over here uh, PC2 So from PC2, let's go ahead and do IP 192.168.10.2 the default gateway 192.168.20.1 okay that's done and now it should be able to ping 192.168.10.2 there we go so I'm able to ping this computer over here so this is all working guys and this is all for this um, GNS3 activity not a package just activity anymore so a GNS activity and hey, thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm only 40 subscriber, but I have over 98 videos already. Okay. And also, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me at CCNA Daily Tips. And if you don't have a Twitter account, go ahead and create one and then follow me, guys. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.